Right, I'm gonna go into Iceland and check if they have the new Tabasco range. They got some chicken burgers and some chicken, like chicken goujons. Fingers crossed, because these look right up my street. Let's see if Tabasco can bring us some real chicken, if we can get them. They actually had them, let's go. A store that actually has them in stock when they say they have a new item out, eh, Aldi? If you guys don't, don't know what, well, you won't know what I'm talking about, actually. Well, you might actually, yeah. Two videos ago, um, I was talking about Aldi had a new knockoff chicken selects out and I checked both two stores and they just weren't in there. So I just wasted a bit of petrol, wasted time. And I was probably overreacting. <sighs> Didn't have it, did It's still annoying because I wanted to do that video. I'm going to go Aldi now, actually, funnily enough, and check if they have it. You guys won't see that bit. That'll be in the video if they do have it. So, all right, guys, how are we doing? Welcome back. So, today I'm going to be bringing you some new items from Iceland. Luckily, they had them. I went and stopped. Why am I explaining that? You've already seen that. We're eating some Tabasco chicken items. We've also already explained that. Two chicken fillet burgers here, real chicken fillet burgers, and we got some chicken strips. I saw this on Twitter, I think, a few days ago, and I was like, I'm gonna go there, hope for the best, see if it's there, and they were, so thank fuck. And everything so far, I'm really impressed with. I haven't eaten ate anything yet but let me just say this straight off the bat so i cut half of one this burger here i know brown bread some shitty lamb's lettuce that's just because i used what i had at home after buying these no money again have a look at this just look at that that looks insane so here's a few clips of me kind of cooking them and checking the size of them and stuff basically first looks at first, I honestly thought there was more than two in here. I didn't even read that there was two, but because they're so thick, I thought there was like four in there. So that's a good sign. Proper chicken breast fillet, unlike McDonald's. And these, I'm filling these up a bit weird. These feel thick because they're proper chicken fillet strips. I love the packaging as well. These are gonna be so good. They just are. Got so excited, I farted. Look at that. What the hell, I've got one, two, three frosty shoes, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many have I got left? Loads. These fillets are done here. God, they smell so good. You can smell that kind of hot sauce. Okay, may have had a little breadcrumb off camera and been about a minute and there is actually a bit of a kick, so these should be quite spicy. And these are done. Okay, so we've got all sorts of different sauces here. We've got mayo, mustard, barbecue, ketchup, and of course, some hot sauce. It's funny because I've always slagged off um, Tabasco. It was like the first kind of hot sauce I ever really bought, and I don't really like the consistency of it. It was bang average. I've realized that Frank's Red Hot and Sriracha are a lot better. Smash a like straight away, guys. Smash it. Subscribe if you're new. I really just want to munch, but I want to get through the nutrition and prices first. Okay, so chicken fillet strips right here with Tabasco brand pepper sauce flavor, 500 grams the whole pack. It's got three uh, chilies. So these are three pound 50. And let me tell you, you get loads in the pack. I probably use about 300 grams ish, give or take. So nutrition per 100 grams, 8.3 grams of fat, 1.4 grams saturate, which is nuts. That's pretty good. 18 grams of protein, probably getting 50. 50 odd grams of protein from these fillets because they're real fillets. I'll keep saying that throughout the video. And then the fillet burgers, you get two in a pack, 300 grams, two pound 50, two pound 50 for two legit crispy chicken breasts. Per one fillet, we're looking at 12, I oh know, I didn't even say the calories for the other one, sorry. 201 calories per 100 grams, about 1,000 calories a pack, about that. 298 calories per one fillet, 12.2 grams of fat, saturates 2.1, 23 grams of protein. I'm surprised it's not more though, because this is like a large, breast okay so we're gonna start off with the fillet first just obviously just gonna try it on its own see what it's like okay Ow. let's try a small one first oh mate you can buy this there, even though it never focuses okay crispy tasty real chicken only thing is, see the McSpicy show. Obviously, it's a chicken fillet breast coat, a spicy coating. Now, when I had the McSpicy, not spicy at all, but a little bit of a kick, but not that spicy. When it comes out, it's pretty spicy. For five, 10 minutes, stomach hurts and all that. So I might be in for a, a fun time. Let's try some of this breast. Mmm. Mm. I can really taste the uh, Tabasco, which is expected, obviously, but I didn't really with the fillet. But this, I really could. Literally, very juicy as well. Mmm. 
Chicken's not tough or anything. You know what? That's not a bad focus there from the newest yeah. iPhone. Get some sauces going here, shall we? Shit, need back. Ketchup, you can't go wrong with ketchup with anything really, can you? Asking for a bad time on the shitter, I know. And mustard, I know it's a weird choice, but... I mean, mayo and ketchup, you know where you stand. Subscribe. Hmm. Obviously, the mayo kind of feels like a cooling agent, you know what I mean? You can't really taste the spice when it's in that. Ketchup. Hmm. So, in total, six pounds, right? It's just class. It's so worth it in my eyes, you know? Try a bit of mayo. Hmm. I said, the only thing that worries me is the amount of batter around it. It's not like overpowering and too, too hot. Shouldn't be too bad later. Right, sriracha. Oh, that really brings out the heat in both of them there. Jeez. Like barbecue sauce. Again, like, I can just in enjoy that by themselves without any sauce. Right, mustard. Probably a bit strange, this. Yeah, a little bit weird, but I'm going in for another dip. Like I said, I had a little little coating outside bit, and it was pretty hot. If I just take a sec, give it 10 seconds. Do, do I feel a heat? I'm, I'm sweating, but that's because... I'm not sweating, but I feel quite hot because the window's closed, but... All right, let's try the burger. Mm. Mm -mm. Certainly better in between two buns, but obviously I should. In my eyes, it is really worth it, six quid. I mean, there's not really much else to say. Like, these are just really impressive. High protein, two of these burgers, 50 grams, getting 100 grams of protein, easy. Mm. Well done, Tabasco. I know I've slagged you off. You've done really well with these items. And I like the design too. The design's really cool. Me, personally, would like more spice, to be honest. When Bro Brewdog in, in London, right, they got this... Burger, I didn't read it properly. I was like, oh yeah, chicken burger, I'll go get that. Really nice food there. So I get it. This is double stacked. So two fucking massive butterfly chicken breasts, both literally dipped in Frank's Red Hot Sauce or, to, or Tabasco. And it was literally like, it was so hot. I was there sweating, but it was enjoyable. But it was so messy. I wish I took a picture of it. Obviously, Ben now would have done little shorts on that, but I should have really got some Tabasco to go with it. But I, couldn't, I didn't have enough money. <laughs> Unfortunately, these aren't as warm because I, I put them in a bit too early. So, right, let's open this up, shall we? Oh, see the juice there. Oh, my God. I'm going to show you, actually. I've got to show you. God. Look at that, man. Oh. Yeah, boy. I highly recommend, guys. Give these a crack. You get pl plenty of coating on the outside. If you want to like buy these for a party or something, like or yourself, of course, like I have. Probably get. I still have quite a few left in the bag. Probably get fifteen or so. You know, you get a lot. They're not stingy at all. But this is filling me up, which I didn't really expect, to be honest. Mustard, ketchup, mayo, just like in Mackey's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. If I move, will it focus? I want to know. I need to know. Like, is that focus? I don't know. iPhone 13, mate. What the fuck is that about? Go at least finish this burger, right? Very impressed. It's a very good idea for them to bring out like a, uh, another item, like as well as just sauce, you know? Chicken item. It's a really good idea. It's a good supermarket to collab with. Ugh. Again, I'm going to be probably quite bloated whilst bloody editing. But I've got six hours or so before I want this video out anyway, so every time I stop the video, I burp and then I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> that wasn't that big. <laughs> well, in my head, I kind of expected more spice. Like, I don't know if it's just because I feel like my tolerance is quite good. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, after eating a few of them, it's like, I'm a little bit full, but at the same time, I'm now I'm just like a little bit repetitive, a little bit. I also think like in my head, I thought it would have been like a bit more wet, kind of saucy. I think it would have made it 10 times better. Where's the taste sort of thing? Do you know what I mean? Like nutrition and stuff, class, tender chicken, real chicken, just a bit more of a kick. And just like the McSpicy debate. debate. Some people will be like, oh, it's too hot. What are you doing? Others will be like, 
it's not hot enough, it's shit, whatever. It's all tolerance. It's all tolerance. Someone could eat that and be like, there's no spice at all. Other people could literally have the worst time of their life and be in pain drinking water for a, a day. You, like, you never know, do you? Everyone's taste buds are different. I guess it is a debate, so everyone's just saying their opinion, but... Okay, I'm going to finish this and then I'll leave this for someone to dry in the family. To be fair, it is about half eleven, so eating these is quite early. Let's finish with some sriracha. Why would I do that so aggressively? I like to see Frank Red Hot and Sriracha and stuff do this, and I can do like a battle between the chicken and stuff. But well done for doing legitimate, proper chicken. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Thank you for all the support recently. It's been nuts. I'll see you in the next video. Abash.